All right, uh, typical March, Ohio day. Uh, nice and bright and sunny outside, but yet just extremely cold and windy. So instead of doing some of the things I wanted to do outside today, I figured to make a good day uh, before the weather breaks to work on adding more accessories to the Ventrex. So uh, what I got here is the, the beacon kit that goes on the roll bar, uh, the warning light, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did make one that plugs in my rear 12 volt. I had done a video on that. Um, I used it through this winter. Uh, my intentions were just to put it on and off during the winter, but it was sort of nice having it on there. And if I am driving down the road and doing other things when I take the tractor places, I figured it would be nice to have a, you know, a light on there. Problem with the one I have on there is I know that mowing, eventually I'm gonna snag a tree limb and probably snap my light off. So I went ahead and bought the one from Ventrek. And the nice thing with this is it comes in a nice sturdy steel cage that will protect the light and it's all powder coated and easy bolt on, you know, pretty simple. Uh, the one thing I really liked about the Ventrek when I bought it is all the accessories that they, they offer for the tractor. Um, I will do a video on that sometime showing you guys all the, the 4500 accessories. It's crazy, all the stuff they offer for it. And for the most part, it's plug and play. Uh, that's the nice thing with buying the kits. They come with the instructions, um, very highly detailed. You know, there's, it goes into pretty good in depth on how to do everything. And they give, they offer a lot of pictures and that makes it really nice. Cause you can actually with the pictures, you know, see exactly how everything bolts on and everything. And like they say, a picture is a thousand words and it's just their instruction manual. I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, looks nice. I've never installed any of these uh, accessory kits on here. The other stuff that I got were, you know, the dealer installed them when I got it. But um, for the most part, looks pretty easy. This video is not going to be necessarily an installation video. I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple tricks to this and then what it looks like at night when it's installed. Um, one thing I will say is when this comes, when you buy this, this light comes bolted here already. I unbolted this and there's a reason why. Uh, the older, this is a different light than the older Ventrac ones. This is a newer one, this is LED. Um, I believe the dealer said they changed this about a year or two ago. So when you buy this light, it comes stock where the beacon goes around, I'll show you, in a circular pattern. But if you take this light off and pull back this wire on the yellow wire a little bit, this is your mode selector wire. So you can change the pattern of these lights to different intensities if you'd like to. Uh, if this light's already mounted to your tractor. What I would suggest is unbolt the light and then unplug the hot wire, the positive one, and put a jumper in there. And just be very careful that you don't hit the roll bar or anything while doing this, you know, so you don't ground it out. But if you could put a small jumper wire in there and turn it on and then use this wire to tap it, um, you can change it if it's already, you know, existing on the tractor. If you're buying it new like I did, the easiest way to do it is just to hook it up to a battery through the cable that it comes with and then just use this to select your mode and then bolt it back on and install it, which is what I'm going to do. Let me set this up. I'm going to hook it up to a battery and show you guys what I'm talking about and then I'll show you um, all the stuff that comes in the kit to install it. All right, once you get your leads hooked up to a battery, the positive wire on the cable that comes with your uh, strobe light kit is white and the black one is the negative. So that's the standard pattern when you buy this kit. This is what the light uh, comes in. Like I said, if you shave that wire back and just tap it to the positive, you can go through your different modes on this light and change them. So once you get the mode that you've selected, uh, all you can do is just take, what I'm gonna do is just lightly cut this wire back so if I ever wanna change it, you know, the mode again, I can peel off a little wire and do it again. So I do like that, the different modes. Uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people know about that, but mostly all these LED lights come with a mode uh, selector on them with a wire like that. So that's just another thing you can do with it. All right, when you get the kit, it comes with the switch. Um, pretty easy, you remove the, the plug that's in the dash, you pull the cable up, you plug your switch into that, and then you go to the back of the tractor, you move the cover, 
and once you run the wires through the roll bar you got to insert them in this and this is what will go in your plug um, now the the dealer did tell me to make sure that you get the right wires in these holes because if you put them in the wrong way you know it, it this is positive you know negative light it, it does have to be exact and if you get them in there backwards i think there's a special tool you have to use to get these back out to switch them so uh, make sure you really read the instructions while doing that that plugs in you know to the back part of the tractor a um, couple u-bolts to mount it this plate replaces the plate you know the solid plate on the back to where your wire can come through uh, to go up the roll bar um, like i said pretty pretty simple it doesn't look like anything very difficult to install and i'm going to go ahead and do this here later on this evening and when i get installed I'll bring the camera outside and we'll see how bright it is. All right, I said this wasn't going to be a how-to video and I'm, I'm still not going to do that, but I did want to just point out a few things on here is when I did this to show you guys uh, how nice it is working on the Ventrec. Um, you just loosen up a couple bolts, remove the TCM panel here, um, put it, place it down there, and then all these plugs are accessible back here. So anytime you buy an accessory, like, you know, the, the beacon kit or, you know, the horn switch, that kind of stuff. You can just remove that, find your designated plug that it tells you, and then you plug, that plug comes up to your switch panel. You put the switch in, and then I'll show you back behind here where the wires go in uh, to the battery. All right, once you remove the toolbox tray, um, all the plugs that you plug into from under the dash come back here. And then you just find the designated plug when you run your wires to back in here and you plug it in there and then you put the trays back in and you're good to go. I will say I am really impressed with whoever does their instructions at Ventrac. Not once installing this was I ever confused or had anything where I wasn't sure on um, the pictures along with how detailed the information is on this. The directions on how to install anything on this are probably um, the best that I've ever had um, with installing things. I mean, I've had some really shoddy directions installing stuff in the past that I've had to like, you know, get online and do research. But like I said, I will give Ventrec credit. Um, whoever drew up these uh, plans for installing these accessories, you know, good job to them. They did an awesome job. The pictures really help and everything. And I just wanted to point that out. Uh, couldn't have been happier. Uh, this made it very easy to install this and it was uh, no problem. Let me get everything put back together on here and then I'm going to take it outside. It's dark out and uh, show you guys the light installed. show you guys a couple of the images underneath the toolbox area uh, where the plugs are and under the hood and like I said this wasn't a how to install video it was just to really show you how the Ventrec the plug and play works uh, that's one thing I loved about the Ventrec is even though you guys don't want the rear work lights or the strobe light now two years down the road say you do you buy the kit it's very easy to install and I will say it again Whoever come up with the instructions on the Ventrac for these accessories, great job. I got to give you a thumbs up on that. Not one time installing this was I confused or anything. Very well detailed, uh, pictures, everything. Everything went smoothly. It was the simplest install of anything I've ever done. And I'm not just saying that. It just, the instructions were great. I've had 
Many things I've built or bought through the years where the instructions were shady, sketchy, just very vague, but uh, Ventrec went above and beyond. Every the wires are numbered. I mean, it's foolproof. I mean, anyone can do this. Uh, a lot of times when you buy the machine, it's been uh, dealer installed, which a lot of these options were. This was the first thing that I installed. Very simple, guys, I will say that. Um, other than that, I chose the pattern that I chose, which I'll show you. I like that. It's a little more intense. I think that it's going to get your attention a little better during the daytime. Uh, I hope to help some of you guys to know that you can actually change the mode of these LED lights on here. Very happy, like I said. Uh, I got some more things I'm adding to this Ventrek that are sort of accessories for Ventrek, but I'm, I, I don't want to give too much away for the video yet, but I'm adding more things to this tractor that I think some of you Ventrek guys are going to like. I'm just waiting for the stuff to come in at the dealer. Stuff's a little slow coming in right now. Uh, everything's back ordered, but I think some of you guys will like to see what I'm doing in the future. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Like I said, there's a couple things I'm going to do that is going to be a little unique that I plan to do in the future. So I hope this video was uh, informational, to show you guys a little bit about the tractor, and if anyone wants to add accessories. And as always, uh, thanks for watching.